Good afternoon and welcome back to Coffee Vanna HQ and we're in the house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, well what's the weather been like over the last month or two? Pouring down the Absolutely rain. awful. But we have been away on a couple of trips. But welcome back because this is the monthly calibration. And you'll see up in the top corner, next to Ollie's head, he's going to be a round L of all the channels that are taking part. And it's a bit different this month because it was our turn to choose the topic. So we made it quite a broad range. And the topic is the camp, the three best campsites with a wow factor and because we've got both caravanners, campervanners, motorhomes and the like all taking part we're all going to look at it from a slightly different perspective as well as that some of us are a little bit uh, older than others so we have a little diff <laughs> different priorities as well so please do go and have a look at all the other channels videos because there may be some interesting things and some very interesting sites for you to go and have a look at so we're going to kick it off and we're really going to stick on this occasion with adult only sites yes although one of the sites isn't actually adult only predominantly is visited by um by the couples isn't it yeah so uh, our first site and number one on the list is the back of beyond the back of beyond in dorset and the wow factor of this site isn't so much uh, the site, well, none of these is actually the site themselves, uh, but with this one, the what site, you got there? the site itself is a bit nice, isn't it? Yeah, uh, the, the people who run the site, the wardens, absolutely oh, the brilliant spot on, aren't really, they? Yes, you couldn't ask for a better place to go. Um, the, the bar that's on site four to eight yeah doesn't open if you like full bar hours it's quite quite a, quite a small yeah opening but they have visiting food yes food different nights fish and chips pizzas a hog roast they have all sorts of visiting different nights which is quite nice and on top of that the beers that were serving when we were there were from uh, the Ringwood Brewery, which is not far down the road, so that was that was nice. A nice to be having sort of yeah. local ales and things like that. On top of that, being where it is at Ringwood, it's literally right on the New Forest, isn't it? Yes. So you've got all of the New Forest, uh, the Tank Museum, Monkey World, Car oh, Museum. I had to do Monkey World because I'd been watching it with the grandbairn that night. And I wanted to leave her, but unfortunately, they wouldn't take her. <laughs> Uh, it was something to do with COVID. They do want to take the risk. <laughs> uh, but you've got loads and loads of attractions in that part of the world, yeah. uh, as well as, you know, you're not far from going down to uh, Bournemouth Pool, uh, around the coast to Weymouth. Yeah. It, it really is a, it's a stunning part of the world as well, isn't we it? We did Weymouth. Yeah. And all the bends, crabbing. Yeah. That was brilliant watching the bends, crabbing, and the dad sitting with the pint because the pub was just over the road it was nice yeah so there we, there we are that's um that's our number one which was the back of beyond in, tranquil park in dorset yeah um moving on and before we do let's have a quick mention to you and all our new subscribers because we really do appreciate you all uh, staying with us on the channel, we're, we're doing really well. You know, we're up at what over nearly 1900 subscribers now. Yeah, uh, we are absolutely over the moon, and thank you very much for that. And thank you very much to our channel sponsor, which is Cover for Caravans. We'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, because if you are looking for caravan insurance, please do check them out. It's a company we've been with for a long while, uh, and we really are, are sort of mm -hmm. proud that they sponsor our channel. But moving on, because this is all about campsites. Thanks. So number two on our list, he says, is Roxham Marina. Now this is a little known campsite, uh, except for people who probably live in that part of the world, or who have actually stayed in Roxham itself because it's a bit tucked out of the way isn't it mm -hmm. it's not signposted and it's a camping and caravanning CL isn't CS 
yeah. side. So it's only a little five van side. And it takes you a year to give a place to go on. That's it, how popular it is. We booked. We were there last September. Yeah. And we booked to go the bank holiday weekend. At the end, at of, the end of this month. And before that, we were there in September the year before and booked to go September last year. It, yeah. it is hard to get in, it's, but it's a lovely site. If, you, if you've got a camper van or a motorhome, you can probably grab the odd night or two here and there. Uh, but from uh, a caravan point of view, if you want to stay, or from a motorhome point of view, if you want to stay for longer periods, uh, trying to get a whole week mm -hmm. uh, without giving a year's notice, is impossible pretty pretty difficult isn't yeah, it yeah it really is a popular site yeah. and i think the reason it, it's not just it's popular it's a site that it's spends a situation uh, it spends much of the year underwater yeah. yeah because it's right but it is on the marina so it's if, on the broad isn't it yeah it, so as the river levels rise the campsite just disappears underwater uh, and we went at the end last year, didn't September. we? Where they'd had we'll a lot plunge. of rain. We were plunging a bit. Yeah, there was a lot of a lot of sort of <laughs> surface water around where the river levels had risen, and then dropped back. And we're actually finding that in the morning, uh, because the tide was coming in overnight. Yeah. Uh, in the morning, the river levels were higher, so there was more water on the campsite in the morning, yeah. and they dropped back in the afternoon, didn't they? So yeah. you so you weren't so so uh, wet. And Alan learned to fish. Uh, and yeah, of course, when it's not close season, you can fish literally from uh, from outside of the door of your your caravan van or motor. And, well, and lot, lot of, well, I wasn't the only one, was I? No. In fact, I think everybody who was on site was uh, was fishing. doing a bit of bit, bit of fishing while they were there. Uh, you've also got Roxham itself, which is only a small place. Uh, it's got if if you shopped, but um, they're not cheap. They've got like. A thing of the own. There's two pubs where you can eat. There's a lovely Thai restaurant because we went there. Yeah. That was gorgeous. Uh, there's fish and chips. There's pizzas. There's everything. It's a lovely little sort of broad town, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and I'm trying to think of the name of the stores. Roy's. That's it. That's the one. Roy's of Ro Roy's. Roy's of Roxon. Yeah. Uh, and of course, because it's the Broads uh, you and the Marini, if you wanted to, you can hire boats and uh, go up and down the Broads. It, it's ideal for us this time when we're going, we're taking Jack with us. So we're going to be paddleboarding, uh, paddle boarding, uh, on the Broads. Um, it's it's just a... It's just a lovely site. The wow, the wow factor is its location, uh, not just the site itself. Of course, because it's a CS, it... You just have showers and a toilet. Yeah, you go over to there. But you kind of go from the site over into the marina to to use Isn't. the use the facilities. It, it, it's just lovely watching the swans go up and down the ducks, the boats, and people on paddle boards when you're sitting outside. The wave and the say hello. It's just so relaxing. Yeah. A very relaxing campsite. So that's that's our site number two. It's a lovely site and well worth a visit if you can book a year in advance. Yeah. Right, uh, and and our third is one we've deliberated over, really, isn't it? Yeah. There's so many places that we've been and so many things we've done over the last uh, few years. Yeah. And sites just seem to be getting better and better, it, uh, admittedly more expensive as well, but some sites are just really putting the effort into... Mm -hmm. To, to to make them sort of extra special from a from a customer service point of view, and it, I think it's become noticeable, hasn't it? Even yeah. with CLs, yeah. that that the the owners are you know stocking things like local produce, and you you'll find that they'll you stop and talk to you. They've, the the probably the best tourist information centre you'll ever need because they live in the area. Think uh, like you know things, yeah. yeah. You don't need with a with a CL a look uh, you know one of these hooks like you get on a main camping and caravan site, uh, giving you information of what's all about. You've just got to spend ten minutes talking to the owners, and they tell you basically everything, all the market days, when to go, where to park. It, it's uh -huh. just uh, things are just getting better and better, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah. from the point of view of sites, uh, it was it was a toss up between half a dozen really. <laughs> what do we choose for our last? This, our last site. This one come out though for its views from where we were. Yeah. If you walked 
just walked out the field where the caravan was and walked further along into the other field where there was other caravans and tents. The views were fantastic. We're out of this world. You could have been abroad. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we're, so we've, we've started with the back of the in Dorset. We've moved over to Wroxham in Norfolk. And this time we're taking you to the Lynn Peninsula in mm, North Wales, Wales, which is on its own, right on the edge of Snowdonia. It's a little bit quieter than the Snowdonia National Park, yeah. but not a lot. No. Uh, of course, you've got all the sea walks. Uh, you've got Snowdonia there if you want to, Lamberry's wasn't a, that far to drive oh. away, you know, uh, Port Maddock wasn't a, was it Port Maddock? I can't remember, it was Port something, but that wasn't that far away, the only thing was we couldn't get parked. Yeah, <laughs> you know, every, it's, 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 uh, it's just a, a really, really nice part of the world, isn't it? Yeah. And the views from this site, which is called the Willows at Abersock is just absolutely stunning but isn't it have a sock was nice the, yeah yeah uh, from the side itself about half a mile away was yeah. the first pub yeah food was exceptional oh, wasn't it, it the was welcome gorgeous. the customer service yeah. perfect yeah. Uh, Abbasock itself, lovely little place just to walk around. Uh, did someone say it was like the, the Riviera of North Wales yeah. or something? Yeah. Uh, so things in the town are a little bit expensive. Parking is impossible, isn't it? Really yes. difficult. We went down a couple of times and we still haven't getting parked. We've just been through <laughs> it, it um, watching the surfers carrying the boards and that. Yeah. Uh, and then we've moved on to other parts of the peninsula where it's been a little bit more, a little, little bit quieter, yeah. haven't we? Uh, to go for walks, but uh, to, uh, if you're a if you're a dog owner as well, that part of the world is is second to none, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, yeah. So that is we are. That was the third uh, campsite, and as you will see, I've been dropping clips in and there of all the little places up in the corner. Uh, but please do visit the links in the description below uh, because there will be to all the sites and on top of that there's also a playlist of all the other channels that are taking part so please do visit them go and have a look uh, even Mr Bob Earnshaw is on that list so I'm sure you will see that, uh, that that we have some very different ideas of what we see as wow sites and I'm sure everybody else will have some great additions to add, to add that you may be interested in. So there we are, that's the collaboration for this month. Thank you very much for watching. Please do take the time to like, share and subscribe. And till the next one, thank you very much. You take care, stay safe and we'll see you later. Ta-da. Bye.